to begin with, could you kindly explain to us, Senator, how is how did this creature or this agency come about? Because uh-huh. alam mo, malaki naman ang tanda ko sa yon. And uh, traditionally, government procurement is undertaken by the department or agency directly concerned. Correct. It is never relegated, allocated, or diverted to a different, particularly not the DBM. How did this happen? Okay. Uh, PSDBM has not been created by ordinary law. Yung mga Republic Act, wala po yan. Uh, as a research namin, it's either a PD or a, an EO. Yung, sa mga kilos lang nung uh, executive branch yan noong unang panahon. Uh, so, pero, pwede, pero dahil sa kinikilala na siya as a separate structure, we can pass a law to dissolve that. Uh, to dissolve it. Na para talaga mabura na siya. Kasi mm-hmm. paulit-ulit na lang natin siyang naririnig. Eh. Uh, dati, Uh, binuo yan para bilhin yung mga uh, common supplies, yung items which the government, the different government agencies uh, regularly purchase anyway. It's time to abolish the PSDBM. Okay, tandaan natin, ginawa ito noon, wala pang internet. Wala pang halos automation. So, Now now with the uh, information available at our fingertips information as to costing uh, prices of items uh, I think the agencies can do the procurement themselves kaya naman nila because these are the uh, supplies that they use every year uh, and then um, they already know uh, bidding processes because agencies now have their own uh, bidding biddings and awards uh, committee and then let us just maintain uh, this time a desk or a, or a team at the uh, DBM which can post uh, you know which can post uh, prices of uh, items used by government post lang nila for guidance exactly <laughs> so For example, may ganyan example. Yung Farmally, nalaman natin sa Farmally investigation that the DOH, DOH kasi maraming budget yun eh. Mm. Uh, mga hundreds of billions yan eh. 42 billion ng budget ng, ng DOH, pinasa niya kay PSDBM to purchase uh, PPEs and maybe other items. Pinasa niya yung 42, 42 billion. Ha? Mm-hmm. So therefore, uh, because of that, this obscure, this obscure uh, division or agency got 42 billion. E kung tignan mo yung budget ng ibang department, for example, Department ng Trade and Industry, wala namang 42 billion budget yun eh. Siguro, ang budget yata ng DTI, if I remember correctly, anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 billion. So, mas malaki pa ngayon, mas malaki pa ngayon ang, ang, ang procurement nitong itong isang agency whose head whose head we do, we do not even know unless and until they got involved in uh, controversies na, 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 na kilala tuloy who, who was the head, di ba? Mm-hmm. The, head, the head of the DTI with a smaller budget goes through the confirmation process of the CA. Oh. The head of the PSDBM who is, who is not known, does not need to go through a confirmation process, that, that's, that's why he or she will remain not known and yet he or she manages amounts larger than some departments okay But who so, who officially uh, eh, eh, you know in terms of legalities who appointed these people espe- uh, including the current uh, head of the PSDBM okay as i understood it from the past investigations uh Dalawahin ko na lang kasi hindi ko na ma- it's either the president yes, it's either the president or the secretary of the DBM. Mm. Oh, pero this is what I distinctly remember. The secretary of the DBM no nag-appear doon sa formal investigation, naguhugas ng kamay na hindi ko hindi ko under secretary ko yung head ng PSDBM pero hindi ko kontrolado ang kilos ng mga yan. So mm-hmm. Imagine mo yon. So akala natin because it is under DBM, 
at least some somebody controls uh, either controls or supervisors or monitors wala pala eh 